So, how did it go? I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> that bad. Bad would have been okay. This was horrendous. Do you want to talk about it? No, I said I don't, but you're just going to keep staring at me until I do. No, I won't. Really? You're okay with me not telling you about my date? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Really? You've moved that baby about five times now. Sorry, I, I'm just busy organizing over here. Right. Uh, just sit down, I'll tell you. You know that I'm the only one who cleans around here. Nope. I'm gonna dust this off. Yeah, no, it's, it's really, it's okay. Just sit down, I'll tell you about my date. It's, it's good. I've got this. Oh, no, 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 please, don't sit down. I will tell you. Ah. I knew you'd cave. <sighs> well played. Every detail. Okay, well, first of all, he looked nothing like his profile picture. Really? Yeah. His profile picture was of a late 20s, early 30s, good looking, athletic guy. But. Uh, he was pushing about 50, I would say. Oh, man. Yeah. So, after like his fourth helping up at the buffet, he went. But, whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say. Buffet. Oh, yeah. Uh, on his profile, he states that he likes to treat a lady to a fine dining experience, but what he really means is the $19.99 all-you-can-eat buffet at Fat Hawk's Grill and Buffet. Ew. Yeah. Anyway, so, as I was saying, after, like, his fourth helping up at the buffet, I googled really quick um, Google's most used profile pictures for dating sites. This was the first that came up. That is so wrong. Yeah, scary to think how many people have actually used that picture before. Okay, well, if he didn't look like his profile picture, why would you still go out with him? Well, he did promise me that luxurious dinner, and my inheritance does depend on it, so. True, your parents' will does state that you must be engaged by this New Year's. I'm pretty sure they thought you'd be in love. <laughs> Please, I was in love once, Screwed me over. I'll fake it this time if I have to. Okay, well, clearly you couldn't fake it with this guy. What happened? Well, strike one was the profile picture, two was the buffet, three was when he kept spilling gravy on his t-shirt, and then wiping it off with his fingers, and then asking me to lick it off his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. No, I'm serious. Oh. Well, I'm speechless. Yeah. He said it's sexy when a lady licks a man's gravy fingers. <laughs> wow. I I feel so sorry for, for me, right? No, for him. What? Why can you not me? Viv, you you are beautiful. But a man who asks a woman to lick his fingers clean, he has no chance. Well, there is a scary but I guess kind of romantic twist to my date. No. Yeah, so after like the tenth time of refusing to lick his gravy fingers, a lady from a few tables over came and said that it would be her honor to lick his gravy fingers. Oh, oh. I yeah. almost lost my life. Yeah, that's, that's disgusting. Yeah. So I took a cab home and here I am on the couch by myself. Yeah. Well, there's four months until New Year's. Something will work out. I'm beginning to doubt that, honestly. No, it has to. It has to work out. I think I need a miracle at this point. Well, I'm going into the office. Maybe I'll stop at the church around the corner and say a prayer for you. Whatever helps, really, I guess. Yeah, seriously. Maybe even light a candle for you, too. Whatever works. Uh, why are you leaving? Can't you work from home? Oh, there's a big legal case involving a company over in Abu Dhabi. It's almost morning there, so we all have to be office when the conference call comes in. Okay. <coughs> Are you going to be all right? Please. I am an expert at date nights ending with me all alone on the couch in my pajamas. Yeah, true that. Okay, well, I'll be back in time for breakfast. <gasps> Will it be an all-you-can-eat buffet breakfast? 
Only if you lick my bacon finger. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, Barb called in, so I decided to stay on work tonight. You should have called me. I would have been in. You were on a date. Yeah, well, that's never going to happen again. Yes, it will. You can't be single forever. You want to bet on that? Ben, you're a really nice guy with a huge heart. Someone will be so lucky to have you. Trixie, you're a great sister for saying and believing in that, but I should be devoting my time to this place. You're here all the time. No, I don't mean just by working here. I should be out. Talking to donors, getting more staff. You put a lot of your money into the shelter and all of your time. You're allowed to go out and enjoy life. Yeah, but I don't want to anymore. I mean, the gods themselves have shown me tonight that I'm meant to be single. Is that bad? Yes, that bad. When I quit acting, I did it so that I could take over this place that mom and dad found. I want to live my life without having to relive my soap opera days or get pitched a movie idea or be a producer. Well, Benjamin Burke, the actor who walked away, people have a hard time believing that you have no interest in it anymore. Well, I don't. I mean, my last job was a guy in a coma for 12 months. <laughs> 12 months of lying in a bed. I was a child actor, and I made a ton of money, and that was awesome. But now I'm investing in things that matter. Yes, and it's beautiful. But you want to go out and meet someone and have a life outside of this place. Sure. But not right now. We're getting short staff and short on donations. So until then, that's what I'm doing. Finding staff, finding donors. You need a hug? Nope, I'm fine. Ooh. I'm just going to sit in this chair and then feel sorry for myself. And I'll come help you with whatever you need in there. Yeah, I'm an excellent hugger. I'll survive. <laughs> OK, you're going to do it anyway. All right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do it anyway. Yeah. See you later. Yeah, bye-bye. Oh, look at that. A date tweeted about me. Said I loved her script idea. I hate social media. Ben, how'd the date go? Well, hey, you two, shouldn't you be in bed? We want to know how the date went. Yeah, did you kiss her? Did you open her? Did you go for a walk in the park? Was she beautiful? Whoa, 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 slow down, you two. You've been watching way too many princess movies. Sorry, we just wanted to know how the date went. Well, she was beautiful, of course, but it just wasn't going to work out. So where there were no holding hands or walks in the park, and there definitely was no kissing. Ooh, that's no good. Yeah, she's stupid. Oh, wait, hold on now. Maybe I'm the stupid one. I don't think that's possible. Well, it could be why my dates never go past the first one. You just haven't met your princess yet. I don't deserve a princess. Yes, you do, because you're a prince. No, I'm not. You two are silly sometimes. Sure you are. You say that's your mom from starving and freezing in the cold. You dance with us when a good song comes on. You even bought us clothes and presents. You tell really cool stories that evening snacks. See, you are a prince to a lot of us. Wow, I'm flattered. How did you two get so smart? We watch princess movies. <laughs> yeah, so you know what a good prince is like. Well, I should have known. Thanks, girls. For what? For making this a wonderful night. I thought it was horrible until two of my favorite princesses showed up to lift my spirits. I'm gonna go work on some things, but you two should get to bed. He called us princesses. Yeah, but we still don't find him his princess to marry. How do we do that? Look, the first star of evening is out. So we can make a wish? That's right. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. Please help Ben find his princess. Please, please, please. It's 7.30 a.m. Stop! Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Relax, it's okay. I'm here to help you find true love. Oh, no, you need to leave. I'm calling the police. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, I can help you with that. It's right there on the floor. It fell there while you were sleeping. Okay, uh, you need to go. I'm calling the police. Listen, I understand your fear and your confusion, but I'm not going to hurt you. I'm pretty sure that's what every psychopath says before they murder somebody. True, that might be what every psychopath may or may not say, but I am not a psychopath. Uh, maybe you're here to rob me. 
Oh, that's cool. This master plan of yours. Yes, I'm sitting here in your chair, very comfy, by the way, reading my tablet while you sleep. No, I don't think so. Maybe you're a creepy peeping Tom. Oh, yes. You're what, on the uh, 20th floor of this apartment? 22nd. 22nd floor. You know, it would take some seriously mad skills, dedication, commitment to climb this entire building to peep in your window. I think I warrant that kind of commitment. <laughs> right. Yes. Um, let's see. Messy hair, in your pajamas, eyes all red from crying yourself to sleep. Oh, oh, and, and let's not forget the smell of alcohol on your breath. I mean, if I could get drunk off of that smell, I would be so wasted. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I drink too much. Yeah, I can see why I was asked to come here and help perform a miracle. That's it. You're one of those, uh, a date doctors. <laughs> a what? Yeah, a date doctor. You know, they help you get set up on dates and stuff and find dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, no thanks, but my phone is lit up with requests. Yeah, yeah. I see that here on your file. What? File on me? I sure do. It's what does it say? Well, it's for me to help you find true love. It's not even on. Uh, it is, but it's only I can see it. You know, privacy rules and that, and it's to help find you true love. Uh, yeah. Okay, weirdo. Uh, you need to leave her. I'm gonna call the police. Okay, listen. I get it. You want to call the police and that, but maybe if I introduce myself properly, you'd see I'm actually here to help you. Okay, but don't come near me. Okay, I won't. Um, I think you need an orange juice or something. I'll be right back. The kitchen is that way. What's that? The kitchen is that way. Oh, silly girl, the fastest way somewhere is a straight line. He just walked through the wall. I am losing my mind. No, no, I'm still sleeping. Yeah, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming, I think. Sleep. Here you go. Uh, no, you're not dreaming. This is very, very real. Yep. How did you do that? Oh, well, I went in your kitchen, I figured, you know, the juice would be in the fridge, and it was, and I had to guess out of your numerous cupboards which one had the cups, and I guessed right, gave me, and voila, juice, well, juice in a cup. Uh, not the juice. How did you walk through the wall? Oh, that. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Kelvin Ulrich, Philip Isaac Davidson at your service. Yeah, I don't know you or your services. <sighs> right, yeah. How about this? Just... Take all the initials of my names. That should explain who I am and what I do. Okay, uh, Calvin? Yep. Rick? No. no. Richard? No. Um, okay, <clears throat> too early in the morning for you, clearly. I'll say my names, you say the initials. Got it. All right. Calvin. C. Ulrich. U. Philip. F. F. P. Okay, focus, really focus. Ready? Isaac. I. D D D Davidson. D. What do those initials tell you about who I am and what I do? I don't know that your parents couldn't decide on one name, so they gave you like seven. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making a note in your file that you're not too bright. Uh -huh, I get it. C U P I D. Cupid. Spelled Cupid. Bingo. That's me. <laughs> no. Uh, you're not Cupid. <laughs> yes, I am. No. Cupid's a fat little baby flying around naked except for a diaper, shooting bow and arrows at people, making them fall in love. <laughs> no, I am Cupid. I don't have my bow. I lost it. It's a long story, don't ask. And as for being a child, well, I'm actually thousands and thousands of years old, so I'm not a child. Oh, and wearing a diaper. Yeah, picture this. You waking up this morning seeing me sitting here in a diaper. <laughs> I would have called the loony bin for it. Yeah, um, this is unbelievable. I know. It truly is. You know what? You should use this opportunity because people rarely get to see me to, you know, find your true love. No. I don't think so. Well, that's what's going to happen. So I'm supposed to believe that your Cupid sent you to help me fall in love. Mm, no, you're supposed to believe that those who love you ask me to be here to help you find true love. The, the happily ever after part of that, that's not for me to write. That's it. What? You're just one of Priscilla's friends. She sent you here to get a laugh or two out of my situation. Right, who can walk through walls to get you orange juice? Obviously an illusion. 
who also knows that you were once engaged to Charles Dumont the <laughs> third. Nice name. But he left you, or you'd actually separated with him and called it off because he was going to marry you, divorce you, take half your money? Yeah, that's just common knowledge that Priscilla would have told you anyway. Right. I find it interesting in your file here that it says you, Vivian, would pretty much marry anybody to get your inheritance. What can I say? I love money. All right. Let's try this. Maybe you'll believe me this way. Uh, you have a friend, Tilda. Yes. She's going to pop by here in a few moments. She's going to ask you to come to her restaurant because she's launching a new menu tonight. And she figures, seeing you've been doing a lot of emotional drinking lately, you probably want to do some emotional eating and you can taste everything and give her a review. Sure, but uh, Tilda never comes by this early in the morning. Right. Okay. Um, I know. Let's do some magic, shall we? Yeah, okay. No, seriously. Pick up your phone. What now, Cupid? <laughs> It's going to be a lot harder than I thought when I took the job. Let's just take this. Oh, she took selfies all night. Me, one bottle of wine. Me, three bottles of wine. She missed two. Me, four. Oh, my. Those are bad pictures. <laughs> those there. Now, where to disappear to? Oh, here. I told you, magic. Hey, man. Hi, Hi, Tilda. Oh, man, it smells like a bottle depot in here. I think I'm getting drunk off the smell. Hi, yeah, I get it. I drank too much last night. Yeah, Priscilla told me it didn't go well. <laughs> That's an understatement. I'm launching my new menu tonight. you got to come check it out. The gravy is finger-licking good. <laughs> so excited. Yeah. Wait, uh, can I ask? Something about that chair. This chair? Sure. Yeah. Do you notice anything unusual? No, it's a little lumpy, but. <laughs> nice yeah. try. She can't hear me or see me. But I think she can feel me. Are you okay? Looks like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> Listen, you really need to come tonight. My treat, maybe it'll turn your day around. I guess it can't go any worse than it already is. Great, that's the spirit. And you know what? I gotta get going. So you're coming tonight? Yeah, I'm perfect. <laughs> no, 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 no. The smell. Oh. We'll see you later. See you later. The smell is bad. <laughs> okay. So if I'm supposed to believe that you're Cupid, yes. sent here to help me find true love, mm -hmm. uh, we need to establish some ground rules. Oh, great idea. Key to any successful partnership, solid ground rules. I'll write them down in your file. Okay. <clears throat> Rule number one. Number one. No coming in my bedroom. That is my private area. No worries there. Okay. Rule number two. Number two. No popping in on me while I'm in the bathroom. Ooh, awkward. Like my autocorrect changed popping to pooping. <laughs> 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 no, 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 it is awkward though. I won't. Not a problem. Not going to happen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, rule number three. Three? How many rules does a woman need? Holy no. Sweet. No. More. Mm. Magic. Magic. Whoa, 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 whoa. No more magic? Yes. Really? It, you don't even know when I do magic. Like, I've done 12 magic things since you've woken up. What's that? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I have a sense of humor. It's a joke. But I promise, I will only do magic that won't reflect negatively upon you. What? Well, I'm saying, Vivian, magic, you know, love. Falling in love is magic, so I will only use my magic abilities to, you know, help you in your love life. Okay, uh, let's pretend that I understood what you just said. Excellent. And I'll just trust you on this one. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to freshen up. Are you still going to be here when I get back? Oh, I am bound by duty and honor to be here till New Year's. New Year's? Yeah, New Year's. That's four months away. Yeah, what's four months? I mean, I've been around forever, basically, so what's four months? Nothing. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, four months, it can't seem that long. Can it? Oh, 
Hello there, how are you? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. Has anyone been in to see you yet? <laughs> Definitely not. That's weird, we try to see the new ladies as soon as we can. Hmm. Yes, you are the very first to see me. That's strange. So Trixie wasn't at the desk? Oh, yes, your sister. She just left. Oh, you know my sister? Beatrice Burke. Yeah, but she prefers Trixie. Of course she does. So, she's seen you then? No, no, you are the first to see me. That's strange. I'm just gonna go to my desk here, grab some paperwork, and then I'm gonna be right with you. First off, I'm Ben, and I wanna apologize for no one noticing you. That's not right. Well, it happens quite frequently, in fact. Well, I just want you to know that no matter what brought you here, we're going to do everything in our power to help you and keep you safe. We're going to get you back on your feet. Oh, that's really, really sweet, but I'm not here for shelter or protection. Oh, sorry, uh, why are you here? For work. Oh, for work! Oh, gosh, golly me, I've been so busy lately, I'm sorry. Oh, no need to apologize. Oh, thank you for understanding. So, what are your qualifications and when can you start? Oh, and what is your name? <coughs> My name, yes, let's start with that. It is Violet. Okay. Eleanor. Yep. Evelyn, is that spelled right? Yes. Okay. Good job. Uh, Nina. Nina. Uma. Okay. All right. Stuart. Stuart. That is a lot of names. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can call me Violet, or you can use my more common name. Which is? Venus. Venus. Yes, my initials. Oh. Here, I thought it was Venus, the goddess of love. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Well, not that crazy, because I am that goddess, and my job is love. Right, your job is love. Yes, and you, Benjamin Burke, are the reason I am here. I have been invited here by two pure heart individuals who love you mm -hmm. and want the best for you. Right, a fan, I see. Um, okay. Yeah, no, I'm good on the whole love front, but if you're not here for work, then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I've been asked to be here, I cannot leave. Oh, uh, okay, weird. Trixie, Trixie, can you come here? Oh, Trixie's tried to help you in the past. Uh -huh. She's not going to help now. Yeah, okay. Trixie! What is it? I've got food to prep. And I could really use your help in the kitchen whenever you're done sitting around. No, hold on, I, I need your help here. With what? With her, can you please tell her we need help around here and not help with my love life? What are you talking about? Her. Tell her we need serious help around here. Who? What's your name again? Violet? Mm -hmm. Violet! Okay. Please then, quit playing jokes and come and help me. She can't see or hear me. Only you can. Be quiet. Excuse me? No, not you. Well, yes, you as well, but... Okay. I know you're going through a tough time, but geez, I get it together. No, I am. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, honey, you are a mess. Please. Okay. So, when you're done fooling around and trying to mess with me, come and help me in the kitchen. Unbelievable. Mm, yes. To those who cannot see or hear me, it would appear so. I think I'm having a nervous breakdown. Oh. No. You've been offered an opportunity of a lifetime. Okay, yeah. I imagine being the goddess of love is very time consuming for you. Well, yes, lately it has been. Okay, I don't know what that means. It means that normally I have someone who sets up the love matches and then I write the stories. Okay, so you, you sit up in a little cloud and you write people's love stories. Well, not a cloud. It's far more luxurious than that, but you get the idea. Well, my love story has been written horribly thus far. No, well, you haven't been very willing to help out now, have you? Oh, okay, so it's my fault then. No, but if you were more willing to help out, I'm sure we could write a very nice story. Mm-hmm, because you're so busy. Yes, exactly. So why me then? I'm fine being alone. Like I said, I was asked to be here. By the purest of hearts, whatever that means. Uh, Who are you talking to? Ladies, how are you? Good, hungry. Well, breakfast should be ready soon. Wait, now your sister said it would be ready if you'd help. Ah, I see. So Trixie sent you to get me, did she? Yes, so come help her. Yeah, when you're ready to. I'm going to finish talking to no one. You, two, you, don't, you don't see anyone sitting next to me, do you? You're silly, Ben. I'm also supposed to have imaginary friends. You don't see anyone? 
Well, they can't see or hear me. We've been through this. Okay, ladies, go get ready for breakfast. I love those girls. Mm, they are pretty cute. Yeah, their mom is trying really hard to keep them together and to clean up. Yeah, they seem pretty happy. Yeah, they're really helpful for each other. And their mother, too. And they seem to love it here, considering. You know, it's the weirdest thing. They have this love for everyone. It's such a pure love. Wait, hold on. Did they ask you to be here? Like I said, the purest of hearts. Uh, but how? It's not like they can just Google you and send a request. They ask. But how? Well, you remember last night you came home from your date. Yeah, it was horrible. And you talked with them for a little bit and left. How do you know that? I see all. Well, they came to the window, looked out, and made a wish on the first star that they saw that night. Like a princess movie. Sure. Only it wasn't a star, it was a planet. Venus. No, Jupiter. What? Really? <laughs> well, yes, Venus. If it was Jupiter, you'd be talking to a man, long beard, lightning, thunder all over the place. Really? <laughs> kind of scary. <laughs> no. You still would have gotten me because it was a love request. They want you to find your princess. Oh, man, this is crazy. This kind of thing only happens in movies or in plays. Well, truth is stranger than fiction, and love is a crazy little thing. Queen, good song. What? Never mind. Okay. <laughs> So let's say I believe you, that you're the goddess of love and that you're here to help me find love. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Well, first, you're gonna go help your sister in the kitchen. Okay. Second, you're going to trust me and together we'll figure out your love story. Well, if it's to honor those girls' wish, then you can count me in. <laughs> Great. Get to work. Okay, all right. Hey, thanks, I guess. Uh, don't thank me yet. Huh. Wow, she's not asleep on the couch. Viv, are you home? Hey, yeah, I'm just finishing getting ready. I'll be right up. Up without me waking her? And already getting ready for the day? Who are you and what have you done with my best friend? What do you mean? I was up. Uh-huh. Are you ready for breakfast and what are you looking for? Uh, yeah, I'm ready for breakfast. He's gone. He? There was someone here? Uh, <laughs> no. Nope. Nobody was here. Oh, okay. Um, so Tilda said she dropped by earlier to tell you about her new menu launch. Uh, yeah, she came by. Mm -hmm. She called me after and said you were acting a little strange. <laughs> me? No, not strange at all. Don't, don't do that. Oh, the ball. Sorry. I didn't do anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, yes, you do. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Yeah, you stopped at that church last night. No, I went to work. Uh, are you sure? I'm really sure. You know what? Who cares why I'm here? I'm here, I'm here to help you. Shut up. Sorry, I'll be quiet. Thank you. For what? I didn't say anything. Uh, thank you for putting up with my craziness right now. I'm a little worried. Why? I don't know. Tilda said it was like you'd seen a ghost, and now it seems like you're talking to someone else. I think you're losing it. Nope, I'm fine, really. Uh, I think you're all worked up over this whole will and estate thing. Oh, thing. Will and estate thing. It is hundreds of millions of dollars, Priscilla. Hundreds of millions of dollars that I don't get if I'm not engaged by New Year's. They have promised you a guaranteed amount. Uh, no, I only have 10%. I have like $50 million. The rest of it is going to charity if I am not engaged. Yeah. It's my money. I'm entitled to it. I'm just saying, if you don't get it all, if you only get, oh, I don't know, $5 million, you'll probably survive. <laughs> no. It is my money. I'm entitled to it. You know what? You're just 
You're putting so much stress on finding someone that it's sabotaging every date you go on. Really? You know what? Let's forget about it. Forget it. Forget about it all. Forget that I even said anything. I am really hungry and you are obviously really hangry. So, I'm going to go change and we're going to go for breakfast. And you're going to feel a lot more cheerful. <sighs> What? Oh, you are an angry morning person. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. What are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just uh, acquainting myself with your dating possibilities, you know, that are on the horizon. And? Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? Just hang out with Priscilla this morning and then go to Tilda's later on this evening. It's not looking good on the love front. Uh, that's unacceptable. <laughs> well, it's the truth. I just started today. I need some time. I have like 10 matches on my dating app already. That's neat, but you can't swipe right into love. Uh, why? Millions of people find love online every day. True, it does work for millions of people. Yeah, so I'm gonna find one of them, <laughs> go on a date with them. Yeah, you're not listening to me. It works for a lot of people but it's not gonna work for you. Well, you're Cupid, make it happen. I told you, I have nothing to work with yet, plus you, Vivian, can't swipe right into love. Not everyone else, you. Well, uh, no, that's not acceptable. Well, that's the truth. No. What are you doing? Oh, look, another guy with Google's most used profile picture. Oh, don't do it. Meet him later, th later at Tilda's. No, no, listen, there's something I need to tell you. Save it, Cupid. No, no, no. Listen, you can have one of two things at the end of your life. Which are? You can be rich in love, or you can be bankrupt in love. Trust me, when you die, you don't want to be bankrupt in love. All the money in the world isn't going to help you if your love bankrupt. Well, then, no. Uh, my, my, no my, my love of money will suit me just fine. <laughs> right. Answer me this, what does money do for you on the day you die? I don't know. Well, let's see. People still go shopping. Banks, they stay open. Now, stock markets, they still exchange stocks. Money doesn't stop when you die. It does nothing for you. It doesn't care. So? So when you, you know, have your funeral and you're surrounded by your love, you know, your friends and your family, your, your children, your grandchildren, maybe if you're lucky, your great-grandchildren, they come to your funeral and they're, they're heartbroken, they're, they're sad, they're crying, and then they start to remember you and share memories of you and they laugh and they remember you and your love. It continues to sh change them and shape them long after you're gone. That is a heck of a lot more than what money does. So then why didn't my parents leave me their full inheritance? I don't know, Vivian, maybe, maybe your parents you know, want you to find true love and, and live a life full of love and a happy life with lots of love. Uh, yeah, I was in love with Charles once. He screwed me over. I am done with that. Right. You know, you know what your experience is? A broken heart, believe it or not. And, and the only thing that will fix that broken heart is to find your true love. And you will not find that true love on that dating app. This I know. That sounds like a princess story. <sighs> That's what love is, Vivian. Love is a story. It's a story that will be written for you if you just stop doing everything for the money. Yeah, I'm meeting this guy at Tilda's. You know what? Fine, fine. Go on that date. But don't forget what it is you want to have at the end of this life. Mm -hmm. I am going on that date. Of course you are. Oh, you got a date tonight? Oh, uh, there you are. All right, well, let's go. You can tell me about it over breakfast. <sighs> yeah, he's using Google's most used profile picture. <gasps> oh, no. Well, really, it can't go as bad as the last one? True. <laughs> Can't go as bad as the last one. Yeah, it's probably going to go worse. <laughs> so, I know you said no to any more dates, but I really think you should go on this one. I think it'll be a good one. Don't, don't go. I haven't had enough time to research this yet. How do you know this woman? We're in a book club together. 
And um, so she hasn't been on a date for a while. Okay. But she'd probably be up for one. All right. Okay. So we were in a supermarket the other day, and we ran into each other. And she asked if my little brother was still single. Well, do you have her number? Okay. Now is not the time, Ben. Really? Yeah. I mean, I really feel like things are going to change for me around here. Yeah, I'll text it to you. It's in my contacts. I seriously do not have enough time to prep for this. Come on, you can make this work. Make what work? Oh, sorry, no, not you. I, I was just talking to myself, you know, like a pep talk, like, come on, Ben Burke, you can make this work. <laughs> hey, whatever, here's the number. Thanks, I got it. Jane Spencer's her name? Yep, she's a really great person. I think you'll love her. <laughs> no, you won't. Not until I do a little more research on her. Well, I don't know if I'd say I love her. I mean, nobody falls in love at first sight or at, on the first date. No, I guess it? not. Actually, they do. Quite often, in fact. What? That's crazy. Okay, maybe they do fall in love at first sight. No, I'll try to see how to talk to myself again. Okay, well... Um... Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'm uh, heading home for a while. And I'll be back for the evening. I just texted her. She said she's good to meet at Tilda's tonight for dinner. Cool, Tilda's. Nice place. And I heard they're launching a new menu, so you better make reservations. All right. Don't go on this date. I sense there's going to be a problem. I'm going to do it. Don't, please. I'm booking it. I'm stunned at your interest. See you later, sis. Hi, yes. It's like a complete 180 if yes. I'd like to make a reservation for tonight. It's going to be under Ben Burke. Awesome. Yes, 9 p.m. sounds wonderfully. Thank you so much. Uh, bye bye. I told you not to do this. Come on, you're the goddess of love. You can make this work. Right. Okay, well, there are six eligible <laughs> Jane Spencers in the area. What is that you're looking at? This is a tablet. Tablet? You guys had tablets thousands of years ago? <laughs> Well, yeah, I've been using tablets for thousands of years, but, you know, we keep up to date with the current technology. I guess that makes sense. So you said there's six Jane Spencers out there, huh? Yes, let's see. Oh, I don't think it's this one. Oh, single, 86, unnatural love of roosters. <laughs> no, probably not that one. I don't think, no, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, could be this one. Good story so far. Oh, but Ben, if this is her, you need to know no, that. No, 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 no. I want no prior knowledge of her. <laughs> no, seriously, you are going to want. No, to... come on, Violet. I trust you with this. You trust me with this? Yeah. Well, if you trusted me so much, you wouldn't have booked the date in the first place. Okay, that's true. But you're the goddess of love. You can make something happen. But I don't set up the matches, Ben. Ben, I only write the story. Vivian! Oh, yeah. God, I'm so glad you came. Oh, of course, it smells wonderful in here. Oh, no, that's the new gravy. Oh. Um, did you <laughs> come along? No. Uh, yes. I mean, I'm meeting someone here. Well, I have a table ready for you, or would you like to wait here for your date? Oh, uh, I can just wait at the table. Right this way. Here you go. Here's my new menu. So what's his name so I know who to send over? Uh, oh, let me just check. Um, are you using the dating app? Yeah, I just told him to, to give my name at the door. Okay. This is gonna go well. Well, good luck, I'll come back later. Thanks. Thanks. You know, Vivian, it's, it's not too late to just get up and run. You're stupid, make it happen. And how am I going to do that? I don't know, shoot him with one of your bow and arrows or whatever. I told you I don't have my bow anymore. Oh, yeah, what is that? I lost it, it's a long story. Please stop asking. Hmm. Did you call me over? Uh, no. Hmm. Strange, I thought I heard you talking. She thinks you're crazy. I'm not crazy. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to say that. Yeah, and I haven't been drinking. Ah, bingo. What? You need a glass of wine to calm your nerves. I'll be right back. Oh, please take it easy on the wine. We had lots to drink last night. 
Go. I'll call no, you if I need I'm something. I'm happy right here. How are you going to call me? I don't know. Go. Like a crow. There you go. No, no, no. Flap your arms like a swan. They're a bird of love. Oh, that's not a nice thing to say to your friend. Uh, no, sorry, Tilda. Um, no, I'd love a glass. Are you sure? Yes, please. Look, and I get it. Dating can be stressful. Oh, someone came in. Maybe that's him. Uh, no. <laughs> he looks nothing like Google's most used profile picture. I'll come back in a second. Thanks. Oh, I gotta go. Good evening. Welcome to back. Tilda's. Hi. Are you here to meet someone? Yes, I am, and I have a reservation. Okay, is it Vivian Westwood? No, it's under oh. Ben Burke. Hmm, just one moment. Here. Vivian Westwood. Why does that name trigger something? Oh, yes, for two at nine o'clock. Is your date here? No, but she should be here soon, though. Okay, well, I'll show you to your table right this way. Awesome. Here I don't you know go. Which one right here. This is my new menu, just launching tonight. The reviews have been fabulous. Got to try the gravy. It's really good. Awesome. I look forward to eating. Can I offer you something to drink? Uh, just water for now. All right, water coming up. Something is strange here. What are you talking about? This can't be. He can't be here. He? Who is he? Oh, it's not him. Where is he? I'm lost. There you go. Thank you so much. You're Where are you going? Uh, I'll be at the front desk. I'll oh. send your date over when she yes, arrives. Yes, of course. I'll be right back. Vivian! Charles, what are you doing? I'm your date. No, I have a date. You need to leave. I know, it's me. I made up a fake profile account just to see you again. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I know. You wouldn't let me slide into your DMs. You wouldn't answer my calls or my Snapchats. Yeah. That's because I block you any and every way I can. Here we are, There is nothing to hear. I'm sorry about everything. You're a horrible person. I wouldn't say that. Uh, you cheated on me? It was one time, sugar plum. <laughs> You're <laughs> such a bad liar. Okay, fine. It was three times, but it was an accident. Oh my god. No, you need to leave. What are you doing here? Vivian and I are on a date. You need to leave my restaurant We're, or I'm going to call the police. We are not on a date, Tilda. He made up a fake profile just to meet me here. Really? Mm-hmm. You need to go. That's a little low now, Tilda. You don't want to make a scene. Hmm. Uh, no, Charles. What's low is telling your friends that I am too stupid to realize you were cheating on me. Yeah, and then planning to divorce her to take half of her estate because your family was bankrupt? It's private. I don't care. You need to go. Fine. Good luck finding someone to marry you. What? Yeah, that's right. You just love money. And so what if I divorce you? At least you get half of the inheritance. See, the stories I've heard is that you've run out of options. So now that I'm out for good, you won't see a cent. Calvin was right. Who's Calvin? None of your business. Now leave! Are you okay? Yeah. What a joke. <laughs> I could think of a few other names to call him. <laughs> a few? Yeah. Hey, wait, who's Calvin? Oh, uh, he's just a crazy friend, yeah. Oh, someone's here. I'll come check on you in a bit. Good evening, welcome to Tilda's. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm here to meet the Benjamin Burke. Oh, he's that handsome gentleman I sat earlier. Are you lucky lady? I'll show you to your table. Right this way. <laughs> She's ordering the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jean. I'm Jean. Yeah. It's so nice to finally I'm meet you. So excited to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> is that my face? <laughs> what does it say? Please resuscitate Ben Burke's crew. Like? Oh, okay. You like? No, no, kind of. <laughs> no, Trixie told me so much about you. I, I hope it was all good. Of course. You could do nothing wrong. You're the Benjamin Burke. And I know everything about you. I'm the head writer oh, of your no. Wikipedia page. I am. Oh, sorry. True story. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, Jane. I don't think this is going to work. Nice. That's so nonsense. Right. Well, like, there. We're meant to be together. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, silly. I have an idea. We should totally get a selfie together. Calvin mm. Ulrich, mm. Philip Isaac Davidson, turn around. Calvin, what is happening? Oh, well, this is ridiculous. I'm leaving. Sorry, excuse me. It is you. Hey, hey, hey. Violet, love, girl. Did, did you?
you just clap to stop time? <laughs> well, if you, if you must know. Yeah, I must. No, it's a cool story. It's, it's really long, and, and uh, my love client, no, that sounds wrong. Um, my love <laughs> customer, that's just as bad. Um, my love project, yeah, my love project. She needs my help. I gotta go. Toodles. Uh huh. Calvin. What? You will answer me. <laughs> really, Violet? Really? After what? Um, 50 years of you not talking to me or me not seeing you, you all of a sudden show up interested in my ability to stop time? <laughs> yes, because you did not come to me for that ability, nor my approval. Well, I didn't ask you to take away my, you know, bow, or, or my love pistol, or my love rifle, or my love bazooka, my love grenades, my love mines, any of my love weapons. Well, that's because you were crazy and immature with your weaponization of love matching. Crazy? No, 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 no. My love atomic bomb was brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant! Hmm. Yeah, your love atomic bomb? me a ton of work. I had over 500,000 stories to write all at once. I'm still not caught up. Please, Violet, you write a love story faster than lightning flashes across the sky. Right. Yeah. Well, Woodstock oh, what's in 69 was supposed to be about art, music, peace, and you just had to drop a bunch of love in there, didn't you? It rained all weekend. People were miserable. There wasn't going to be any peace. So I dropped my love atomic bomb and everyone was happy. And the repercussions of which you never cared for. You never thought of what might happen next. Thousands of years on this planet and it still doesn't connect with you. Oh, please, I am sorry about it. But when you took away my bow and all my love weapons, I had to think of a new way to create the magic of falling in love. So. I went to Father Time and asked him for some advice. <laughs> and he gave you power over time. Yeah, he's old, Violet. He's way older than you. And, and besides, he, he wants to relax, kick back on a beach, you know. Did you just bring up my age in this argument? <sighs> like you know, of all people on this planet, I think you look nothing like your age. Well, guess what? Flattery will get you nowhere. I'm still mad at you. And I am sorry, Violet, I am sorry. So if you just give me my bow back, everything will be easier. No. Well, then I gotta resort to stopping time then. Why do you clap? Oh, <laughs> clapping, it's, it's this neat invention they came up with in the 80s. It's called the clapper. You see, you clap once to turn something on and, and twice to turn it off. That is the laziest thing I think I have ever ever heard. True, but if you ever want to learn how to do a job faster, more efficient, you just find the laziest person to do it and you learn so much. Okay, I guess that makes some sort of sense. I think so. So, this is your next love project. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Her name, her name is Vivian Westwood. She's in love with money, doesn't believe in true love. It's my job to help her find her true love. Yes, I see that here on my tablet, but, you know, thanks for letting me know. Well, I airdrop it to you. Don't you have the new airdrop? I, I can update that. Uh, just, okay, you got it. This lovely lady here holding the camera, she, she must be your love project, right? No, him. Oh, him, him, really him? Please, Violet, you're more of the write a leading story, you know, a woman's love story from the woman's angle. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, you are. But, anyway. <laughs> So what's the deal with him? It must be, you know, something special about him. Well, this is Benjamin Burke, right. and he is a modern-day Prince Charming. Ooh, modern and, day. you know, doesn't feel that he has time for love or needs love. Oh, wow, modern-day Prince Charming. Like, must have been some big request to get you to come back for a man, am I right? Yes, it was two darling little girls. Well, always had a soft spot for the little ones. True. It's strange, isn't it? What's strange? Well, it was because of a stupid and idiotic man that I left 50 years ago, mm -hmm. and it's a man that's brought me back. Yeah, okay. Um, hey, I have an idea. <laughs> no. No, 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 seriously, hear me out. Why don't you and I work together on this? Why? Well, it'll, it'll give you a chance to see I, 
matured in 50 years, believe it or not. I appreciate love and all that. Maybe, maybe I'll impress you enough to get my love weapon back. Plus, you know what? It's the way it's supposed to be. You and I working together. I doubt you'll impress me. Oh. But, fine. Okay. How do you propose to make her fall in love with love and him want to love? Well, that, that's it. That's it. She needs to fall in love. I don't follow. And, and he's a modern day Prince Charming. Yeah. Oh, I've got this. Yeah. She almost drank it. Oh. <laughs> Didn't leave me very much surprised. Uh, she's walking out. She's going to f trip on that. <laughs> no, she's going to fall. Trip, fall, same thing. Really, you writing love stories don't appreciate what's about to happen? <sighs> Never mind, just pay attention. Permission to talk to your man here? You've always been free to talk to whoever you wish, well, Calvin. Well, I don't want to mess up anything, you know, we got in a pep talk going on in his head or anything. I don't want to mess it's up. It's fine. You sure? Yes. His name was Ben? Ben. Big Ben, Benny Boy. Bebop. Ben. ben. Okay, I just gotta stand him up, I think. Let's see. Ooh, he's full of muscle, this one. Look at this guy. He is handsome, really. He needs your help. Such a simple <laughs> cool. Yeah. Ben, right? Yes. Okay. Let's hope this works. Mm -hmm. Okay, it always works. Ben Burke. You and your heart. Long for true love, an unbreakable, undeniable love, a love so fierce and loyal that it'll never stop. And you, you see that lady standing to your left, and you see her beauty, not, not her exterior beauty, but her inside beauty in her heart. And you know, she actually longs for that same love, but it's wrapped up in fear and hurt. And you want to break through that and show her that your love for her and her love for you is what's meant to be your match. But you know she's walking out, and you see she's going to fall on that wine bottle on the floor, and you want to catch her, not, not just because that's the right thing to do today and the noble, gentleman thing to do, but you want to catch her today, tomorrow, and forever, because you, sir, are her knight in shining armor. Wow, that was a lot. Well, we have all the time in the world right now, technically, so I could talk more if you want. No. No? Okay. Come on over here. Let's watch it. Why? Well, I assume he can see you like she can see me. Yes. Well, if they see us, this probably won't work, so get over here. Okay. With a little excitement. Woo! Come on, aren't you excited? Yeehaw! I love this part of the job. Uh -huh. This, Violet, is how I make love happen, the magic, as it were, without a weapon. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Uh, I'll bleach. <laughs> hey, look out! <laughs> It was nothing. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks to uh, Ben. Ben. I'm Vivian. Uh, I was just going to get some air. Would you care to join me? I'd be honored to. How in the heavens did this wine bottle get there? See, that's how I make the magic of falling in love happen without a weapon. Well, I can see why you meant her to fall and not trip. <laughs> well, it does sound better to fall into love than to trip into love. Mm, so you might have a writer in you yet, Calvin. Oh, well, thank you. But I think I'll leave the writing up to you. Hey, should we go see how the you know, fresh air is going? Sure. Oh, hey, can I get my love weapons back? <laughs> it was impressive, but it wasn't that impressive. <sighs> Oh, hey, just organizing the drop-off locations. I don't want to miss anyone. It's a big day. Christmas Eve, time for drop-off day. I know, it's one of my favorites. I just love giving to those in need. And Vivian is finally coming here. That's a big deal as well. Sure, I guess. But she's just coming here to help out is all. Right. What? No, nothing. What, Trixie? It's just different is all. Nothing is different. My little brother has been dating this same woman for four months, and he's finally bringing her here. So? That's huge! I never thought I'd see the day. <sighs> here are your stops. Oh, look. 
less drops than you and Viv. And I need to spend more time with her. I always do more stops than you. Every year. That way you have time to come back here and prep for dinner. Right. Let's go with that. Anyway, I gotta go to Lone Happers. See you later. Alright. <coughs> so you've been, uh, you've been unusually quiet today. Oh, yeah. Just working on a few, few things here. What is it that you're working on all the time? Well, uh, let's just say it's a, it's a long story, but there's a backlog of stories that need writing. Cool, 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 cool. And um, how's mine going so far? Wonderfully. Awesome. So why are you still here? What, you don't love my company? No, 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 no. it's not that. I didn't mean to offend you. I was just wondering. Oh, let's just say that I'm closer to my departure than my arrival, but I'm seeing something here that might still need my help. Oh no, should I be worried? No, it's just, you know that moment of falling in love? It's, it's a singular moment in time. After that, the story takes on more threads and twists and variances. That sounds complex and ominous. Oh, you're in very good hands, Ben. But, uh -oh. no, I'm just seeing here that the side story has come up and there's a chance for you to really make a difference <coughs> in someone's life today. Okay, how? Well, you remember Jane Spencer. Oh yeah, she's the president of the local chapter of my fan club. No, the one that really likes roosters. Oh, what, really? No, no, <laughs> that Jane that you ditched when you met uh, Vivian that night at Tilda's. Yeah, I still feel bad about that. Trixie said she's good, though, about being ditched. Yeah, sure she is. Anyway, I need you to call her and meet with her today. No, I, call her? No way, I can't. I got way too much work to do. I got all these drop-off locations, and I Benjamin can't make- Benjamin Burke. <laughs> well, I have been asked here by two darling little girls who see you as a kind and loving friend. And I don't just show up for anyone, you know. So the fact that I am here and I'm telling you to do something, you do it. Okay, all right, relax. <clears throat> if it's that important, I'll find time to do it. Okay. Do I get to know why? Well, I can't really say, but I do need you to call her and meet with her today. Okay, just, just gonna call her. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you like that? I still have her number on my phone. Calling. Good. Hi, Jane. It's Ben. Listen, this might sound strange, but I was wondering if you could meet me today. 4 p.m. sounds great. Could you meet me at the Burke home? Awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ben, it's done. Thank you. What's that? Oh, Vivian. You're here, and you look gorgeous as always. Thanks. I did decide to wear something a little more casual since you said that we'd be doing a lot of heavy lifting and all. Um, who's on the phone? Oh, that's no one. It's just an appointment for later. So, this is it, huh? Yeah, this is the Burke home for women and children. This is where people come when they're in distress, you know, struggling with addiction or job loss. We try to help wherever we can. Hmm. You and Trixie must do a lot here. Yeah, we try to put a lot of work into it. Well, I'm glad that you finally invited me. It was time, I think. Oh, you think? I've had you over to my place like tons of times. Well, it's just that this place has always been so special to me. You know, I grew up here. And it couldn't be just any old girl coming over. It had to be the right one. Oh, you think I'm the right one? I believe so, yeah. Oh, they're going to kiss again. Shut up. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, nothing. I'm just honored to be the girl who gets to see the place that means so much to you and Trixie. Is she here? Yeah, is your princess here yet? Impeccable timing, ladies. Um, is this Vivian? I hope so, you were going to kiss. Hey, we weren't. You were, I could tell, you were blushing. You two are in love. Oh, <laughs> Vivian, meet Bailey and Emma. Wow, girls, very nice to meet you. I've heard a lot of good things. You're nice. beautiful. Wow, thanks. Are you a princess? <laughs> no, uh, but when I'm with this guy, I feel like one. Us too. Hey, I got an idea. How about the two of you, uh, two of you come with us as I show Vivian around? Yeah, I know everything about this place. Me too. 
Well, looks like we have our tour guides. They're perfect. Plus, we'll be so fast, we'll be making our drop-offs in no time. Stop talking! Yeah, let's go! All right. <laughs> So, this place seems nice. Nice? Yeah. This place, it's amazing. <laughs> amazing? Well, yes, it's love in a building. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I don't recall ever helping a building fall in love. <laughs> Funny. No, this place was started by Ben and Trixie's parents, and Ben was a small boy when his mother used this place. Whoa, 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 his mother? Are, are you saying Ben's adopted? Yes, by the Burks. They had a daughter and couldn't have any more children, and Ben's mother was sick and lost her job, so she came to live here. Unfortunately, she passed away, but the Burks adopted Ben. Wow, wow. Does, does he know? Of course he does. Oh. And that's why this place is so special to him. I mean... It's his passion, it's his life's mission to show love and compassion to everyone who needs this place. Wow, no, no wonder it's such a big deal bring, bringing a woman here. She just to understand how important this place is to him. Mm -hmm. And by bringing Vivian here, it's as though Ben is professing his love for her. Hmm. Wow, well written, Violet. Impressive. So, how's the story going for Benny Boy? Is he, you know, wrapping it up? You gonna be leaving soon? I figure I'll stick around till about New Year. Hmm. You've enjoyed working with me that much, have you? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but you have been fairly helpful trying to get me caught up with my other stories. Hmm. Well, thanks. I, I mean, really, how much help can I be for Vivian right now? Those two are over the moon for each other. I mean, they're like always spending every moment together, you know, going for walks, going out to restaurants. You know, holding hands, hugging, kissing, fuck. Whoa! Okay, stop right there. I am the goddess of love. I know exactly what happens next. No, Thank no, no, you. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to say that. Oh, really? No, I was going to say falling more in love. You know, falling more in love by doing a lot of... Uh, uh -huh. I was going to mm -hmm. say that, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have, I have a question. <laughs> You're not getting your weapons back. Oh, no, no, it's not about that. Really? Yeah, really. I've pretty much given up on that. Mm -hmm. um, I just am wondering, you know how deeply in love they are? How mad and all that touchy-feeling stuff. Why am I still here? Like, why can't I be out helping other people fall in love? I can get <laughs> head starts in so many stories. I have a feeling you still might be needed. Really? Yes. And there it is, the Burke home. Wow, you and Trixie do so much here. Yeah, but there's still a lot more work to do yet. Oh, like what? Like finding more donors and finding staff. Oh, well, I could help. I could cook. All oh, right. If we were ordering in every meal, you'd be a five star. Hey, that's not nice. No, I appreciate the offer, but if we were working together all the time, then it wouldn't make the times that we do spend together as special. I think that's sweet. Um, but if you need money... No, I'm not taking any money from you. No, I was going to say you could go back to acting. Go back to acting? No way, I'm not going back to acting. This is my passion, and I believe it'll work. Oh, well, I believe it too, then. All right, let's go. See, see what I mean? It's, it's like we don't exist. Why am I still here? Like I said, Calvin, I have a feeling you still might be needed. Well, I guess while I'm here, I don't think I need to help them. Why don't I help you with some stories of yours? Actually, can you explain why this Jane Spencer loves roosters so much? Oh, her? Yeah. Um, it was like 60 years ago, she was on her farm and her boyfriend showed up. So I lined them both up with my bow and I shot my arrow and went right through her heart, missed him, hit a rooster. <laughs> Kind of funny, uh, but you know, come to think of it, it's probably a good thing you took my bow from me. Yeah, if, if you thought of getting your eyes checked. No, I think my eyes are fine. Pretty sure. Guys. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? Here, right? Four months. 
four months and you still mess it up. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. You've been acting like there's more than just you and I here for a long time now. No, I haven't. Yeah, you totally have. I hear you talking to yourself all the time. Me? Nope, never. You are, whatever. Keep it up. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You've been super happy lately. So, Christmas Eve, are you coming with me to my parents' house? Well, um, no. Ben invited me for dinner and uh, present giving later. Ooh, how did the deliveries go? Really good, actually. There's so many families that have so little. It was really nice to spread joy to them. That's great. And I hate to put a damper on your hamper, but there is only one week left until Christmas Eve. Is he gonna propose or are you doing it? Well, he did invite me for a walk later after present. Oh, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> okay, well, I've gotta get going to my parents' house. Text me later and tell me all the details, okay? Well, do. Okay, even if it's like two in the morning, it doesn't matter. It's tradition to stay up and try and catch Santa coming down the chimney. I promise I will text you if anything happens. Okay. See you later. Merry Christmas, Sid. Merry Christmas. Drive safe. So, tonight's the night? I don't know. Can't you tell me? How would I be able to tell you? Look, look under your tablet thingy. Well, it doesn't give me any info on him. It just gives me in-depth info on you. Oh. Wait, well, I should probably refresh this. Just. Yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. What is it? Oh, I got a notification. And? It says something big looms for you tonight. Well, that's good, right? Yeah. No, I don't know. I hope so, maybe. Oh, don't, don't get that. Why? It could be Christmas. It's not, Carol. You're on the 22nd floor. So? What's good, baby? Oh, Charles, what are you doing? I've come to give you a present. Uh, why do I want anything from you? I got you an engagement ring. <laughs> why would I want to marry you? Well, I know you're not engaged yet, so I'm here to propose so you can get all your money. Uh, no. You need to leave. You know what? That dumb actor you're dating hasn't proposed to you yet. So here I am, your knight in shining armor. No, oh, no, 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 no. He's more like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, you got that right. I'm sure. Oh, thank you. I've always known I'd be your hero. He's been talking to you. Well, clearly I'm the only person here with you. Are you losing your mind? No. Uh, you need to leave. I have to go get ready for a date. Oh, you have a date tonight? Yeah. So I will do you the favor of letting yourself out, and if you are back, if you follow me back there, or if you are still here when I get back, I will call the police. So help me God. So is this like a challenge? Fine here shows my commitment to us. Vivian! Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes. And you won't tell me why? I would if I could. What does that mean? It means that all I know is that she needs to be lifted up. And how do I do that? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll know. I have a feeling she's on her way. Jane, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for meeting me on such short notice and at the Christmas Eve and all. Uh, take a seat. My parents live right around the corner, so it's fine. First off, I, I just want to apologize for the way I treated you on our date. It's okay. No, it's not. It wasn't very gentlemanlike of me at all. It's fine. Are you sure? Well, I mean, you ran off and ditched me and I got a good picture of your tush as you were going. Put on Instagram and I got 6,000 likes. Really? That's right. Yes, sir. <laughs> well played by you, Ben. And anyway, it was so long ago, lots of other stuff has happened to me since, so... All water under the bridge, I guess. Jaina, I got this feeling that you needed help with something. Is it, can I help you at all? I don't need your shelter, if that's what you mean. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Well, I mean, maybe I do need your shelter. I lost my job. I'm sorry. Not your fault, I guess. Still, though. And besides that, I've been sick all year, so... Life-threatening? Well, I mean, it was, but... Had some surgeries and treatments, and I guess I'm all good now. And that's good news, right? Yeah. But? After all the surgeries and treatments, I can't have kids. So Merry Christmas, me. 
I'm sorry. It ain't not your fault. I know, but maybe I could help out a little. How? Your job that you lost, what did you do? I was an elderly care attendant, and then cutbacks happened. Just in time for New Year's, they let you go. Yep. Hey, Jane, would you like to work here? What? Well, what would I do? When would I start? Well, if you took the job, you could start whenever you'd like. I mean, go and enjoy the holidays, be with your family, don't worry about work at all. And you'd be doing a little bit of everything, actually. I guess I could do that. And I know this isn't the same thing, but there are a lot of kids around here who need some motherly love while their moms deal with things. I never thought of it that way. I mean, I guess I could do that. So, uh, go home and sleep on it, think about it, but the job is yours if, if you want it. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! 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 Oh, sorry. sorry. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, Okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited too. Yeah, um, see you Monday. Awesome, I'll let Thanks. Trixie know. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Don't fall. <laughs> we just had the floors waxed. Oh, look at that. You <coughs> kicked up her spirit. I did, didn't I? Yes, Well, isn't there someone else you should be picking up? Oh, Vivian, yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, I'll be there for supper. No, I'm just at Vivian's. I think her and I are getting back together. Yeah, she tells me to wait while she gets ready. I know. I hate waiting for a woman to get ready, but that's what I'll do. Yeah, her and I will be engaged and I'll be rich again. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Why don't you just leave? She doesn't want you, she doesn't need to, just go. Man, this one takes forever. Oh, I'll don't, get it, don't get that. Oh, hi there. Who are you? Nice to meet you, I'm Charles. Ben, Charles? Me, Charles, the ex-fiance? <laughs> sure, I guess, but we're working on that. What? Yeah, Vivian and I are working on our re-engagement possibilities. Yeah, no, that can't be true. I can assure you circumstances have changed. Well, she didn't mention any circumstances changing to me. Why would she mention anything to you? I don't know. We've been dating for four months now. I think I'd hear a little bit more about this. All I've heard about you is that you're a liar and a horrible person. That's funny because, um, she never mentioned anything about you. Where is she right now? She's getting ready. Vivian? Viv? Hey, yeah, I'm just finishing my hair. I'll be out in a little bit. Okay. Why is Charles here? Getting ready to do first. Yeah. Well, you can go. I'll be sure to tell you pop by. No, I think I'll wait. This is sound right? No, Ben. Okay, I get it, Brad. Whatever. Look, I get it. You two dated, but it's not gonna work out. Clearly it hasn't this far. Charles, can I give you some advice? Sure. Yeah, be quiet. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna let you know the truth. Yeah, I don't think I'll take the truth from a liar and a cheater. What are you doing? Take a look at this. What is this? Open it. Don't read it. Don't look it. Just put it down. Her parents will, so what? Don't read it. Please don't read it. Ben, Ben, can you read? Ben, where is Violet? Ben, where? Vivian! Vivian! I'll get, get it. Vivian, how long does it take to get your hair ready? Vivian! Why didn't she tell why didn't she tell me this? See, Vivian's a liar. She doesn't care about you. She needs to find some guy to marry by New Year's. All she wants is just money and her parents' country mansion. Because that's all she loves. Just money. She ended your engagement. That was before her parents died. I offered to take her back, but she had morals about dating. Why you? Easy. I'm rich, baby, and I love money too. It's convenient to us both. I get hurt. And she gets her money. 
should have told me. Where are you going? Don't bother telling her I popped up. Why? I'll be sure to invite you to our wedding soon. Yes! Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Unbelievable. You son of a... Woo! What are you doing? Oh, I was just dancing. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Why are you dancing? Oh, Ben was here. He left? Oh, yeah. Yeah, listen. He told Ben and showed him your parents' will. He read the will. He knows about the money. You have to go get Ben. Go what now. Have, what have you done? I just told him the truth. The truth? How you love money. Okay, that's enough. Just go. Get Ben. Go. I need to go. Oh, oh I'm not going anywhere. Uh-uh. Let me go. Not until you and I are engaged again. No, Calvin, help me. Who is this Calvin guy? All right, plug your ears and hum loudly. <laughs> oh, grow up, Vivian. I know you can. What just happened? Magic. I stopped time. Now, go get Ben. Hurry, but don't go too far till I start time. Just wait. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the jerk says he hates people who pick their noses, and he claims that he's never picked his own. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> sad, sad, sad man. <laughs> Hear me. Where are you? Why am I picking my nose? <laughs> Where's Vivian? She's not coming. What do you mean she's not coming? You're supposed to propose tonight. Yeah, well, that's not happening either. Oh, why? It was all going so well. It even says here that, you know, you, you do the dinner service, you hand out gifts, you go for a walk in the park, snow falls, it's all Well, it's not happening. Why? Because she's a liar. She's a fake. And I have no time for that. There's got to be a misunderstanding. Nope. I'm sure this is for the best. Oh, and as for you and your job here, yeah, you can just move on to some other schmuck. I don't want to be in love. It's always a lie. But Ben. Ben, there you are. Yeah, you can leave now, please. No, not before we sort this out. Nope, I'm pretty sure I know the full story now. Whatever Charles told you, I can explain. No, it's not what he said, Ben. It's what you never said to me in the four months we were dating. I would have, but... No, no buts! I told you everything about me. Yeah. No secrets about this guy. Nope. But you. You kept things from me. You know I can't stand being used. I wasn't using you, Ben. Really? Yes. I told you about those girls who went out with me just because I was in movies or on TV. This is exactly like that. No, it's not. Yes, that's, it is, Viv. That's not what I was doing. Really? Yes. If I would have told you about my parents and the inheritance, would you have still went out with me? You know what? We won't know now, will we? Well, I guess based on how you're reacting. <laughs> there you go. It's settled. Merry Christmas. It was good chatting with you. So that's it then? Well, what else is there? We've had an amazing four months together. I gotta go get ready for dinner. Ben, I love you. Don't you love me? Love is for fools, baby. I've been the biggest fool of them all. <coughs> what the hell is going on? Well, that's just the way love goes sometimes, Calvin. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, love doesn't go in a straight line. It's not bam and then happily ever after. Well, doesn't love conquer all? Well, yes, love does conquer all, and I guess now it has something to conquer if it does in this case. We'll just have to wait and see. But, but this, this, this story works out, right? Like, it has to. Well, it's hard to say. You know what? I just, I just got to figure out something here, uh, like a re-spark. That's it. Give me my bow back, I will use it. I'll get them in the same room, line them up, shoot them with it, they'll be back in love and it'll all work out. You just have to wait it out. <sighs> Can't wait it out. What happened anyway? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, if I tell you, you're gonna overreact. So <laughs> don't worry about Calvin it. Calvin Ulrich. No, see you're already overreacting. Calvin Ulrich, Philip Isaac Davidson, tell me what happened. Ben saw Vivian's parents' will, and the will says she can't get her inheritance till she's engaged by New Year's. There, 
That's what happened. You set them up for her to get her inheritance? No, 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 no. I set them up for her to find true love. True love. That's what she found. They're in love. It happened. I know it. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You know, the night he caught her from that wine bottle falling, they've been in love. She hasn't mentioned her inheritance to me or anyone once since then. I didn't think it was a problem. <laughs> didn't think it was a problem. Well, yeah. it's a bit of a problem now, isn't it, Calvin? Clearly. Clearly it is. Like I said, I'll figure it out. It's what I do, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I gotta go check on her. She tends to do crazy things like drink a bit too much when she's emotional. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go look after Ben, and when you have a fix for this, when you've figured it out, come talk to me. <laughs> sure thing, boss. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're back, are you? Mm -hmm. Well, where else would I be? I don't know. Everybody's either too busy to hang out or doesn't actually want to talk to me. Well, I've told you this before. I'm, I'm bound to be here <coughs> until New Year's. What are you looking for? Oh, you know, remember the first day we met? You'd done a bit of drinking. And funny, I don't see any bottles. Too upset to drink. You, you want to talk about it? Oh, with Cupid, the invisible pain in my butt. The one who has been here the whole time and watched it all happen. Yeah? Really? Really? Why didn't you do something? Why didn't you come and get me? I tried, Vivian. I tried to get you. I, I yelled for you. I hollered for you. You didn't hear me. Well, you should have done something louder. You should have got me. I couldn't come to you. Remember your rules? No bathroom, no bedroom. I wanted to, but I couldn't. I wanted to. Tell with the rules. You should have broken them. I wanted to break them. Trust me, but I can't break the rules. No, uh, you just wanted to prove that I am not deserving of happiness. Yeah, right, because that's why I was brought here. I want you to have true love. I want you to be in a rich, full love. Trust me, I wanted to. Your, your bathroom and your bedroom are that way, right? Yeah. You Through know that it. wall. You know it is. Watch. You couldn't have gotten to me. I couldn't have gotten to you. I wanted to. Trust me. So, just talk to me. Get it off your chest. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm so stupid. Ben is the kindest, most loving, most caring person on the whole planet. And I lost him. I should have told him about my parents and the inheritance, but I didn't even think about it. Not even once. Why not? I didn't think about it because, because once I met him, I finally understood, I guess, what true love really meant. It's, it's a miracle. I don't even care about New Year's or the inheritance. You can go to a charity like the will says. It doesn't break my heart. But? What breaks my heart is that I lost the most amazing man on the planet. Over something so stupid as money. I miss him already. You know, I'm a little bit hurt and upset that you don't think I'm the most amazing man on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Vivian, I can walk through walls and I can stop time. Yeah, I guess that is pretty amazing. Thank you. How do I fix this? How do I get him back? I don't want the money or need it. I just want him. I don't know. I'll figure it out, I promise. Please do. Hey. Hey. How's it going? How's it going?
it going? Just sitting here all alone. And I see that. You know, when I woke up this morning, I was so excited and I was anxious about this evening. Now I'm just sitting here all alone. Boy, was I foolish. Why don't she try calling or texting her? I'm sure she's tried calling you. Yeah, she tried calling. She texted a few times, too. But I think she's given up. I doubt that she's given up. Well, she should. I'm not going to be her way to get her money. It's just so strange, because I totally get the head of her heels vibe from her. Yeah, I did, too. I guess we're both foolish. Maybe you just need a good night's sleep. Go home, relax, and try not to think too much. Yeah, I doubt it. Get out of here and get some rest. She never came? No, she couldn't make it. Why not? We like her. Well, things came up, ladies. Are you and her fighting? Why would you say that? You seem sad tonight. Yeah, it's because she's not here. Okay, you two. You know, leave Ben alone. He's just a little tired, is all. Yeah, supper and all those dishes, plus the presents. Okay, I guess. Well, I hope they didn't going to stay away too long. Why is that? You're always happy, but since you met her, you smile way bigger. Yeah, it's nice to see you so happy. Let's go, Hey, what's that for? Oh, uh, for everything you do for all of us, also because I think you need a hug. Yeah, you do. I did. Okay, go home and rest and have a good evening and relax, okay? Okay. See you later. I smile bigger. Crazy kids. Kids see things from a different perspective, so it's probably true. Well, they're going to have to get used to a less big smile. I still think you should go over there and talk to her. No, nope. I've seen the explanation. I've read the will. I can do the math. It's just... She never gave off any other vibe than the... The head over heels vibe? Yeah. Yeah, Trixie just said the same thing. What's with you women? Well, women are smarter than men. We, we know things. <laughs> well, you didn't know about this. No, I didn't. But it's not an impossible thing to get over, Ben. Why should I want to get over it? She wasn't honest with me, and I was. Listen, I, I love her, but... I can't stand feeling like I was used by her. So, I'm going to take this ring that I bought her. I'm going to go put it on eBay. And then try and enjoy what's left of the holidays. I'm sorry that this is how your day went. <laughs> why, should, why should you be sorry? You're not the one with the broken heart. We won't go if you think we shouldn't. Oh, uh, no, you guys were invited by them three weeks ago. You should go. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Take these princesses to an awesome New Year's celebration. Okay. You should come. No, I'm going to stay here and work on some things. I think you should go. Ben knows how to get there if he changes his mind, ladies. Thanks for the dresses. The yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> the best dresses for the best princesses. Let's go, ladies. Have fun, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, are, are you sure you don't want to go? I can take care of things here. No, I really don't want to go. Okay. So how have you liked it here? Oh, this week's been amazing. This is completely the job I needed to have. Awesome. We love having you. Thanks. But I'm going to head upstairs and do some of the work you showed me to do. So um, let me know if you need anything. All right. I'll be there in a minute to help. Still hanging around, are you? Oh, you're talking to me now, are you? I just don't see why you're still here. I mean, I'm done trying to find love. Well, you're putting all your love into this place. Exactly. So anytime you feel the need to leave, I'll be fine. I'm sure you will be. All right. Then it's agreed. I hereby release you from your duties. Mm, if only you could. <sighs> I'm good, so whatever. I got some things to do. I'll be here writing. Yeah. Hey. Vivian's not with you? Oh, no, no. She's back at the apartment doing, well, she's not doing anything to help Priscilla get ready for New Year's Eve party. 
I've noticed that she stopped texting and calling Ben. Well, to be fair, he hasn't called her back or replied to any of the texts. Yes, well, he's given up on love and doesn't want to be in love. Hmm. Well, he told me to come back when I have a plan, and uh, I only have a few hours left, so I think I have a plan. A plan? Yeah, I... sort of a plan. Sort of a plan. Yeah, you know, it's just like right here on the tip of my tongue, just ready to come out if I can just get it. Not a Woodstock kind of plan. Would that work? No! I'm kidding, I know that wouldn't work. It's just, we gotta get him over there to see how heartbroken she is and sad. Well, I've tried to get him over there a few times. He won't come, will he? Nope. Like, if he could be a fly on her wall and just see her, she's crying out. Can, can we make him a fly? Uh... Oh, the paperwork on that oh, is... paperwork. Oh, that's too much. Even with electronic oh. Hmm. You know, it's like if I could just get him to see in her window. He could see in her window and see how hard broke it. That's it! What? I have a plan. I, I need to talk to Ben again. Oh, I don't know, Calvin. No, 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 no. I won't mess this up. I promise. Trust me. Hey. Okay. You're really good at setting the spark, getting things going, but you have never gotten involved in the heart of the story. It's, it's really delicate. I understand. I get it. I'm the guy who sets up and starts the story, and you're the one who knocks them down with a wonderfully written story. And I understand, but I won't mess this up. I don't know. Please, please, Violet. Like, I want to do this. I want to do this for Vivian. And, and for Ben, because they do love each other. And, and I want to do it for you to show you that I completely, truly understand how important love is now. You understand how important love is? Yes. Like you forgot how important it was when you first took the job. Exactly. And I get it. And it's just let me speak to Ben and I will not mess it up. Okay, but I'm warning you, Calvin. Who is this Calvin? Come over here, Ben. Hey, I need you to close your eyes. Why? Because I need you to see. That doesn't make any sense. I can't see with my eyes closed. Yeah, I know. Just, just close your eyes. I don't get it. Okay. How about this? If you want to get rid of me, close your eyes. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll close my eyes. Okay, they're closed. Okay. Now you done yet? Nope. Now take a deep breath. And out. Now, I need you to open your mind okay. and listen quietly. Listening. Ben Burke. What was that? You can open your eyes now. Who are you? I'm Calvin. Calvin? Where did he come from? He works with me. What does that mean? Uh, it means that there are many beings that interact with the people of this world, and um, it's very very rare to see two of us at the same time. Okay, wow, I guess. <laughs> it's a long story, but I do work with her, and there's something I need to tell you. You don't have much time. Wait, I, hold on, are you deaf? Well, no. <laughs> do, do I look like I have a bunch of watches on me? Oh, and believe me, he would not look good in Marilyn Monroe's dress. Uh, oh, I don't follow. <laughs> She's a woman. Death. Death is a woman, and I most certainly am not a woman. Okay, well you said I didn't have much time, so I just assumed. Well, yeah. you assumed wrong. Okay, how, how about I introduce you? Yes, please do. Yes. Okay, this is Calvin Ulrich Philip Isaac Davidson. Uh, another long name, I see. Cupid? Yes. Cupid. <laughs> at your service. Well, not at your service. I'm busy with another person right now. Another person? Vivian? Oh, he's a smart one, isn't he? Look at that, and he thinks of her first. It's impressive. Yes. So are you here to shoot me with your bow and arrow or something? Well, I would if I could, but she took my bow from me. It's a long story. So I actually did my part months ago when you caught Vivian from falling on that wine bottle. But that was you? Yeah. Yes, it was very impressive. Yeah, impressive. So why are you here? Well, I want to tell you, talk to you about something very important, actually. What? Yeah. It's about being love bankrupt. Love bankrupt? Yeah. 
It's a very important story, and you will love it, and you'll be changed man when you hear it. Okay. Here we go, then. Sure you can't go run to her and just ignore the story? Because it's no, a personal I'm not story. Running to it's a personal story. Well, tell the story. Fine. Back when humanity was new on Earth, just starting out, there was this leader of a growing nation. Like a, like a king? Yeah. No, no, not a king. He didn't prefer king. He preferred a conqueror. He's like a conqueror. He was tall, strong, fierce, and everywhere he went, his armies would grow and they'd conquer more villages, gain more lands, get more riches. Men, men wanted to be just like him. Women, oh, the women, they all wanted to have his children. Some even wanted to marry him. That sounds awesome. No, he didn't want any of that. He didn't love love. He thought it was, love was for soft people, for fools, as it were. He, he would go into a village to take it over, and the parents of children would come and beg, beg and say, kill me, take me, but don't hurt my children. He wanted none of that. But alas, one day, he found true love. No. No, no. He died. Time, time caught up to him as it does all of us. Oh, that's sad. Not as sad as what happened next. You see, they had a funeral for him. They laid his body on a pyre and they lit it on fire. Walked away, man. Not even a tear was shed for him. What happened next? Well, as he peered off into eternity, his next phase of existence, he realized he was going to live an eternity void of love without any love. So he was love bankrupt. He was love bankrupt. Exactly. And, and he wanted to come back and, and live again. You know, he wanted to relive his life and, and focus on love and finding love and not the riches and conquering. But he couldn't. We can't come back. So he was approached by a goddess, one, one whose job was to write the love stories of mankind. But humanity was growing. So she asked him to help. Venus. Yes. yes. And he vowed to be determined and brave in showing that love was the greatest treasure on earth. Mm -hmm. And that, my good sir, is why love bankrupt is my most preached message. Wait, hold on. Are you guys telling me I'm going to end up love bankrupt? <laughs> no. no. With all the love that you put into this place, then, mm -hmm. you are very rich in love. Yes. Oh, good. I don't think I could end up love bankrupt. Yeah. It's not going to happen. So then why are you telling me this? Four months ago, I was asked to be here to help Vivian find true love, to... to Fall in love with love. It seems like her only love is money. No, her only mo love was money. Now it's you. True love. I doubt it changed. It changed the moment you caught her on that wine bottle. And I could actually show you the moment I myself realized it changed. And she no longer wanted money. She loves you. Truly. How could you do that? All right. I need you. I need you to trust me. Oh, there's a lot of trust going on here. <laughs> you don't have to close your eyes for you just have to plug your ears and hum really loudly. Just do it. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's got to be a song and it's got to be loud. Right. Mm -hmm. Louder. Mm -hmm. Are you sure this is going to work? I have no idea, but there's only one way to find out. What is this? I stopped time. You stopped time? Yeah, and I can travel back to certain moments in time, and that's what I've done. Wait, we traveled time? We have. We've time traveled. Would you like to know more about it? I would love to know more about it. I can show you some schematics. Whoa, that's whoa, you two. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares about the technicalities of this. Can you just show us I, what you we want can us vote to see? Who cares? I do. <laughs> we have all the time in the world, technically. I don't care. Hair. Yeah, she gets a little violent when she's upset. We should probably continue. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't know. <laughs> they used to call her violent violent. <laughs> anyway, sorry boss. Remember, I've taken us back to a week ago after you had that fight here in the shelter. You remember that, right? Yeah, I remember. So this is after that fight. I can control time, move it forward, backwards with my mind. So here we go. loving person on the whole planet, and I lost him. I should have just told him about my parents and my inheritance. But I didn't think about it. Even once. Who is she talking to? Shh. 
And you even think about it because, because I guess once I met him, I finally understood what true love really was. Okay, hold on, is she serious? I want to hear this. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even care about the inheritance or New Year's. I just want him. Remember. It doesn't break my heart. Remember, this is moments, literally minutes after the two of you had that fight. Pay attention. What breaks my heart is that I lost the most amazing man on the planet for something so stupid as money. And I lost my one true chance at a love so amazing. I miss him already. Hold on. Is she going to end up love bankrupt? How would I know? Well, you control time. Yeah, I can stop time and go backwards. I can't go forwards. That's right. Uh, the future is always a blank page waiting to be written. Violet, does she love me for me or for the money? I don't know. Well, look at that stupid tablet of yours. I only have your details. I don't get hers until you are committed. But he does. Well, I sure do. Would you like to see? Yes. You know what? How about you tell me what your heart tells you? I don't know. Maybe? Yes? So, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to propose to the woman I love and put this stupid leak behind us. Whoa, wait, 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 wait! I haven't resumed time. All right. Go get her, big boy! Are you guys coming? No, I think you could probably do this on your own. Right. Hold that person. It worked! Unbelievable! Well, oh, wonders never cease. I know. High five, that was awesome. No, we gotta go. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. High five? No, we have to see this. She's gonna leave me hanging. I'll just high five myself. Ooh, yeah. No, not good for me. <laughs> So it doesn't matter to me. What does is this. Vivian was. this past week has been horrible. I felt like if I were to spend the rest of my life without you, I would be love bankrupt. <coughs> I love you more than anything. Will you not marry me? You guys will always be my favorite princesses. Yes! I'm his first favorite. No, I am! <laughs> Are you looking for someone? Yeah, um, can you excuse me for just one minute? Yeah, sure. You're not gonna run away on me, are you? I would never. Awesome. I know, right? 
Love conquered. <laughs> Did. Good job, Calvin. Oh, well, thank you, but I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, this, this was all you. I mean, your love bankrupt story, and then reversing to Vivian on the couch. I mean, when did you learn to do all of that? <laughs> you would actually be amazed at what you can do when you can stop time. Really? Like, what? Oh, lots. So many things. Listen, I actually wouldn't mind spending some time telling you about it, you know, if we could not be around these living, breathing humans. Are, are you asking me out on a date? <sighs> Listen, it's just, I want to show you, you know, that I understand, since I took this job forever ago, how important love is and your whole love story thing. Love story thing? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I get it. I've been, I've been trying forever to impress you with, with my knowledge and how much I appreciate love. So, was that what Woodstock was, an attempt to impress me? Oh, it was a horrible, ill-conceived attempt. Yeah, it was. Listen, I, I've really enjoyed these last four months, being able to see you again and, and work with you and talk to you whenever I want. And, and I'm just afraid once you leave, I, I'm going to be back in the doghouse. How? Fifty years of not talking to you really did a number on you. <sighs> Who am I kidding? You obviously know this. Listen, Violet, you are the only woman I have ever loved on this planet. The only one. And, and 50 seconds would have been too long. Would have been forever. Well, since you've been so helpful in getting me caught up on my stories, I was thinking about, you know, maybe going for a vacation on a beach somewhere. And your niece is nice this time of year. Yes, it is. Would you care to join me? <laughs> would I? Of course I would. But I, I probably should officially apologize for Woodstock. I have it written down here if you'd like to hear. <laughs> I think you just did. And here. Allow me to apologize. <laughs> for keeping you out in the cold for 50 years. It's my bow, I get my bow back. You got your eyes checked though, right? Of course, of course, my eyes are fine. Do I get my other love weapons back? No. No, it's okay. This is perfect, this is the way it was meant to be. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go off to Nice. Will I see you there? Well, of course you will. I will be there, I will, I promise I will. Okay. You will what? Oh, uh, I'll be getting ready to leave now. My four months is up with you. It's felt like forever. Really? Forever? For the guy who's actually been around for forever? Yeah. Yeah. Who am I kidding? No. It's actually been kind of fun. I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. You've really taught me a lot about love, Calvin. Well, I tried as a miracle. Whoa! Would you look at that? Yeah. That thing's huge. You know, if you two are ever broke and starving, you could sell that and make a pretty penny. I would never. <laughs> well, why not? I, we love each other. Good. And you're happy? Yes, I am already the richest, happiest girl in the world. Ah, oh, yeah, about that. What? The, the richest girl in the world thing. You know, you know how you thought it was Priscilla who asked me to be here? Well, yeah, she went to a church and she prayed. Yeah, no, it wasn't her. And it was someone else, two people actually, it was your parents. My parents? Yeah, you know, they still check in on you from time to time and, and they wanted you to find true love. They knew you wanted to meet your true love, so they sent me to help you find true love. What? Yeah, and, and when they told me about coming to help you, and they know about my ability to stop time, see, I can go back to certain moments. And they said, if I truly believe and I'm convinced that you believe in true love, I said, let them know, go back to when they write the will, and they were going to change it to give you all the money. So they did. And I replaced the will on that shelf last week when you were crying there on the couch and fell asleep. So you're rich. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. But how, how do I explain this to everybody now? Now that you know it's the truth, everyone else now believes it and knows and you're good, you're rich, so you're not going to leave them now, are you? Oh, I would never. Because I don't want to have to come back and work with you again. No, don't worry. <laughs> so this is goodbye. Yes.
Thanks, Calvin. What is this? Oh, it's my bow. I got it back. For what? For putting up with you for four months. Hey. Okay. <laughs> nah, kidding. I got it back for being a good boy. Oh. Kind of small. Hey, 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 you know the saying, it's not the size of your oh! bow. It's how well you aim it. What did you think the saying? Yeah, I, I don't think that's the saying. That is a saying. No. Well, it should be. Uh, where's your arrows? Ah, good question. You see, love arrows are invisible. <laughs> what? Yeah, let me show you. No, oh, no, stand. no, I don't want to get shot. No, no, trust me, just stand over there. Now, when you were a young child, did your mom or dad ever you know, blow you a kiss? Yeah, every time they went somewhere. So like this. What'd you just do? Caught it. Did you see it? No. That's how love arrows work. They're invisible. Got it. Yeah. But I should get going. I have an appointment at a beach. And, um, you know, I'm going to miss you, I think. I might just a little bit. So you take care of each other, will you? We will. Promise? Promise. All right. Oh, um, when you two have your first son, Feel free to name them after me. Any one of my five names, or seven in your case, will do. Really? No, no. Just take care of each other. Thank God. Farewell. Bye, Calvin. I will take invisible kisses, as well as real ones from you any day. Were you talking to someone out here? I can't swear I heard you talking. Um, well, I would tell you, but you probably wouldn't believe me. No, I would believe you. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Was a guy who was about 6'2 and carries a tablet around? Yeah, actually. Hmm. Then I should tell you about Vivian. I mean, Violet one day. I always get you two mixed up. <laughs> wait, but wait, wait. One more kiss before we go celebrate with everybody? <sighs> okay. Whoa. Where did all these people come from? That's weird. <laughs> She's pretty cute. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.